Right, I'm here um, on the Rochdale Canal and um, just come from the Pride Parade just over there in the city centre and what I want to do is I want to um, show how the development of the canal is going along in Manchester um, and I want to start off because this area is kind of closest to the city centre but it's kind of over the other side of this main road. I don't know if this is the inner ring road, but it's it's kind of there's all your city centre, and then this is again more of a kind of inner city. Um, I want to just walk through this first part and then go over maybe to Ashton Canal and further on down there to a more suburbia area. Um, but yeah, this, this I think was one of the first blocks to be refurbished quite some time ago. And you can see how it's been refurbished with very little addition to it. No extra stories on the roof. It's still very much in keeping with the original uh, set of warehouses. And it's, you know, it shouts Manchester, it shouts urban uh, north of England and you know the integrity of it is just is just fantastic um some newer developments here which okay you know i think these were built about the same time as that was refurbished so the kind of it's not the worst i've ever seen but uh, as, I, as we walk on um yeah don't know if i might be pushing me luck with um with uh, the phone dropping out because it's a hot day and um, you see how they get more modern the further down that street you go there um, but yeah um, no what I'm saying is is that my phone gets hot in the sun and it does quite often cut out um, so I think what we'll do we'll go over here nice bit of sea cover here but not a lot elsewhere so again you can see more developments over there this used to be a, a kind of shopping warehouse area that's that they've demolished Actually, that road looks like it's cut off, so what I might do is come back and take a look down here. So all this was, when this was, this seems to be quite good quality, all this was relayed. Um, and it seems like standards have dropped somewhat since 2008 and despite the fact that we are supposed to be um, out of austerity, um, there's, amazing, there's an amazing amount of building going on that seems to be of inferior quality. Again, these I can kind of take them or leave them here. This is clearly a little bit more modern, newer. So we've got basically what is almost a, a kind of warehouse, prefabricated top floor there, which is just horrendous. Attached to that beautiful 
facade there. And this is lovely. Then we've got a big car park which unfortunately is kind of not doing a lot for this here. The only positive thing I can say about it is it's built in brick and you know you've got a little bit of detailing there but as we come further along here again notice how there's there's no trees at all around here so it's just maximizing the profits maximizing the profit at, at any cost lovely old building there and then again a rather crass uh, extension that um, breaks the integrity of the place So as I say, there's no trees, and you might say, well, you know, the buildings cast plenty of shade. Um, it's not just about shade, though, is it? It's about cleaning the air. Again, this lovely building doesn't get to shine because it's surrounded by more could be anywhere buildings. <laughs> so we look back to the canal there. Sawmill Court. Nothing there says anything about sawmill to me. So it's all a bit vacuous. <laughs> Let's just go back here a little bit. This seems to be quite bustling because there's a square just along here. And of course you do have a very nice old Victorian building there. So this is a little bit more successful. Cycle racks, a few trees. Something historic at the centre of it. Again, a little bit too much hard tarmac for me. Oh, uh, hard, uh, hard landscaping rather for me. Um, and again, how the integrity of that building has been spoiled. Even the finish up there. The lead finishing, I don't know if you can see it, let's see if I can zoom in. It's just poor, poor quality. Um, awful on top of a really, really nice Victorian building. Um, 
what we on 10 minutes I want to make sure that I've got plenty of space for other videos further along the canal so I don't want to use up too much space on my iPhone So I've just walked along here. So I'm going to just pause here and then I'll start the video again later on. <laughs> 